You're listening to Create Wealth Through Franchising, and I'm your host, Kim Daly. In my 20 years as a franchise consultant, I've helped hundreds of people achieve their dreams of building and scaling franchise businesses to create wealth. The interview you're about to hear can also be found on my YouTube channel, where I post new franchising content multiple times per week. Please take a moment to subscribe to the podcast and to my YouTube channel at kimdaily.tv. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome back to Kim Daily TV. Today we have a special guest for you. He is the founder and president of an outdoor living brand called Conserva Irrigation. His name is Russ Junt. Russ, welcome to Kim Daily TV. Kim, thank you so much for having me. What a great pleasure. All the great things to happen here in May of 2022. This is a highlight. Watch definitely a lot of your podcasts, which is cool because it's the up and coming brands. It's those that I feel we compete with in a good way and in a, in a in the scoreboard type of thing. And you've had some fantastic guests on, some fantastic opportunities, franchise opportunities. And uh, thanks for having us because I think Conserva fits right in. I think you fit right in as well. And we're going to tell that story today. So why don't we talk a little bit about how Conserva Irrigation got started and, and then we'll go from there. Awesome. Perfect. So flashback 17 years ago, my business partner and I were the very first franchisees ever of Mosquito Squad, actually, right? And so that was our first go towards uh, towards franchising. Loved it, absolutely loved it. We had an underground utility construction background. We had dabbled with irrigation and sprinkler systems, but being from Minnesota, just could not stand the, the lack of uh, design, the lack of of uh, responsibility for water. And, and we love water in Minnesota and our trees, right? And so uh, we really, we're, really were dissatisfied with irrigation, but having then now be in, uh, franchising for the first time at Mosquito Squad. We loved it. And I thought, I, I told Tom four years later, I said, you know what? We need to we need to buy another franchise. Let's buy an irrigation concept. And we went to the market and guess what? Crickets, nothing. Nobody's ever franchised irrigation. And so I thought right in that void, there's the perfect opportunity. Why don't we be the first? So I uh, did a ton of research, went to, went to the Irrigation Association National Trade Show in, in November of 2010, Loved what I saw, started to hear about uh, high efficient irrigation practices, smart controllers, all that good stuff. And man, that was that was the beginning of it. December of 2010, founded the company, right? Flash forward uh, about eight, nine months, got out in the field, started our first operation in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where we only have four days of summer, as you probably know. And uh, I was excited. We had a website, only one page static. We had a bunch of yard signs and a whole bunch of shoe leather. 90 days, 305 clients. I knew we were on to something. So we finished out that year strong. And then we started to approach outdoor living brands because that, right, the parent corporation to Mosquito Squad at the time. And, and Chris Grand Prix, Scott Zai, Corey Schrader, these guys were thoughtful enough to s- spend some time with me and say, you're crazy. Uh, nobody else has ever done this. But... They created a space called Mosquito Squad, an entire space, not just a company. There never was anything such as private mosquito abatement. And I I said, guess guess what? Let's greenfield this thing. So I went out and uh, built it over the next couple of years. And we had incredible success in the Minneapolis market. From there, we started to test out. I took the route of pilot franchising, right? Where you're not collecting fees, not collecting royalties, but I could I could test all the idiosyncrasies of marketing across the U.S. I could test all the idiosyncrasies within the industry itself. And at that point, uh, it was it just started, right? They wanted to make for sure I could prove this thing out that it wasn't just a rust thing. And so uh, by December of 2016, uh, we had enough data that the the unit economics at the franchisee the franchisee level were profitable enough that they were inspiring enough that we could get out there and we could franchise it. So I partnered officially with with Outdoor Living Brands at that time, June of 2017. We hit the ground running, and here we are just a few years later, right? Four and a half years later or so, and we've got 70, 70 franchisees, about 167 licensed territories, and there we go. <sighs> Behind every story, there's a greater story, right? That I didn't even know most of that. So literally when you said, okay, so I decided we were going to start an irrigation company. I thought you were kidding. I didn't know you were going to go like, so, so let's back up to that because why you mentioned something about water in Minnesota before, but like why irrigation? What was it about irrigation that made you say, Ooh, there's an opportunity here. 
especially in Minnesota, where literally you have four days of summer. Exactly. Well, like any concept, right? Home service brands where the where the uh, there's no profession, lack of professionalism, lack of, you know, it's very, very fragmented. And at that time, being an underground utility construction, we had some smaller equipment too. And our guys were getting chased down saying, hey, can you put in an irrigation system? You look like you can do it. So even way back then in the early 2000s, nobody's picking up the phone. And so that's how we got into irrigation. But I'll tell you what, what I, what I found in all that research early on that was disturbing is about 1.5 billion, that's with a B, 1.5 billion gallons per day in the U.S. alone is wasted by runoff and a whole bunch of leaks and all that stuff with irrigation systems. It's horrible. 1.5 billion gallons a day. Two things could happen. I thought I could march on every capital step, try to affect change. Oddly enough, I, I actually do that, not the marching part, but part of some legislative issues, which is fantastic. But at age 53 now, I figured I'll never have an opportunity to, to live long enough to see that effective change. The other thing is I could build a company ultimately that would dominate the US, North America, and soon global, that would force the change, educate the change across the consumers, whether they want to save money or not, whether they want to save water or not, guess what? That's the end result that they get by becoming a conservative irrigation uh, client. And that's what we do. So we force that change in a positive way. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if this franchise sounds like a fit for you, I would love to be your Daily Coach. Email me right now for a totally free consultation at inquire at kimdaily.tv. So is there a proprietary system to what you do that controls that water? Yeah. So the system you really- give to your trade secrets, but right. just well, asking. Here it is. Well, we are working on, we have some proprietary equipment. Yes, everybody always asks that, which is important. But more importantly is the protocols, the systems in place, Kim, that's what you're familiar with. What we do is is uh, unique in many ways and exceptionally not unique. But what makes us unique is all the things about home services. We answer the phone relatively most of the time. We're nice generally and relatively most of the time, I would say all the time, right? We show up on time relatively most of the time. But you see how low that bar is for home service industries. We do all those exceptionally well, and then we follow through and we do exactly what we say. What's proprietary in nature is our, our system efficiency score. It's a, it's a guide to the consumer that each of our technicians, all the hundreds of technicians, every single home, they go through it step-by-step, step, 50 different points, draws it into three different buckets for that consumer to make very rational decisions and decisions based upon if saving water is important, savings money, money is important, green, lush, healthy landscapes is important, all those good things. So things we must do right now, things that affect design, and then things that affect, of course, the efficiency. And it's a guide. It's a homogenous way that we guide that consumer through education. So a consultative selling. And that's how we're able to bring that selling down to the technician level. That's the secret sauce. Not service tax right. at Conserva. We're sales tax. But selling and upselling only to the benefit of the consumer, both in reduction of water usage, increasing of the green, lush, healthy lawns and landscape, reduction of the water bills that they're paying. Make sense? Absolutely makes sense. And I mean, I have an irrigation system and I wouldn't necessarily think about the water saving part well and until the first season when I got my water bill after my uh, my uh, irrigation system had been running at like max capacity. And I was like, what the heck? I'm not freaking having a golf course out here. Like turn this, this stuff back. But I didn't know what I didn't know, you know, and now after a few seasons uh, with my irrigation system, because here in New Hampshire, we have five days of summer, but still we don't get to use it too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's a different thing. So, OK, so I love the story leading up. So the candidate that's out there listening to this interview right now. So who is your ideal candidate? I mean, are you attracting like your W-2 white collar transition guy, maybe a guy that loves like tinkering with his own lawn on the weekends? Like who's, who's your, who's your guy or gal? Well, it's a very, and gal, thank you for pointing that out. We have awesome females as, as franchise owners in this business, which we're so proud of and they're doing a great job. Uh, it's all really four different categories. It can be somebody that's a, uh, from the industry. We call that a conversion. Somebody that was in the irrigation space, didn't want to compete with us, needed some help on the, maybe the business acumen, marketing side, those types of things, but they knew irrigation and boom, we merged that way. We've had a few of those exceptionally successful. We have others that are, of course, corporate ref refugees with all sorts of, of different backgrounds with business acumen and business experience, and we love them as well. We have others that are from the green industry 
that uh, do exceptionally well, right? They have a landscaping company, have have tolerated irrigation, but don't understand it over the years. And what a great add on this would be, or if they do lighting or if they do decks or patios or any of that type of stuff. And then the other is kind of sort of that second in command. That's the one that's been kind of sort of waiting by the side, right? I want to be a business partner of my of my irrigation company someday. And that's never going to happen because if it's Joe's irrigation, and your name's not Joe, they're not bringing in. So you can step out and we have very successful franchisees that way. At the end of the day, it's people that desire to have a business system to generate wealth. It's not irrigation. I promise you, if you could look at this and you say, this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to go into irrigation. Everybody would look at you, Kim, and say, you have a head injury. Okay. Because nobody goes into irrigation. That doesn't happen. But this is the first time ever because we're first to market. And that's key. First to market opens up all sorts of avenues. And in doing so, we're bringing in a higher talented, higher moneyed candidate that has the vision to generate wealth through a wide open space where you're where you're ultimately competing against almost almost competing against children in the business standpoint. Because, again, first to market, exceptionally fragmented and people that are just kind of sort of your truck in the truck. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're inspired by this conversation, I invite you to email me right now to explore this franchise opportunity. My email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. So what I love is that you started in Minnesota. So for those people out there thinking, well, I can't make enough money, you know, in my seasonal market, I guess you can blast that one right away, uh, right from go, right? I love the fact that, that that seasonality lends itself to actually greater opportunity because Mother Nature, it's funny how people are. They, they want what they don't have. So those in the South, I'm in Florida here today. Boy, I wish I had a seasonal market because there's the winterization call to action. I always say this. If you're in the garage door business or pick any, you know, fill in the blank. If you're in the garage door business and you don't winterize your system before winter, the garage door will break. You can't get out of the house. That's the end of story. Now, that's that that'd be a great business. And it is a great business for those in that. But for those that look at it from water, if you do not winterize your system, catastrophic loss to that system. And guess what? You're not irrigating next year. So Mother Nature, every single year, all the way down into Houston, all the way down into Houston, big time, says, we must think about this. Call to action, client acquisition, client acquisition over and over through winterization. And for those that are truly in the four season thing, snowbirds, all the greatness associated with that year round work, you got it. But both both areas are absolutely fantastic from the very, very north to the very, very south. And I, I like I said, I have an irrigation system and they come out. They actually just came out last week and sent me a bill. I didn't even know they were here. I was away traveling and they were here and, went, uh, you know, opened up my system and made sure everything's working correctly, turned it on for me. And then they'll be back sometime in the fall and then they'll shut the whole thing down and send me a bill. And that's twice a year they send me a bill and I just pay it. I'm happy to pay it because I don't want to take the time to do it. I wouldn't know how to do it correctly. And it's one less thing for me to have to do. (laughs) And if you had conservative, keep in mind, we would have emailed you a confirmation. We would have texted you as we're 20 minutes out from that appointment. And we reminded you how awesome your yard looks afterwards. But you got it. That's exactly it. That's awesome. Well, you know, I'm also a Mosquito Squad customer and they were also here last week. And that is the difference. I only received the bill to know that the irrigation company was here, but Mosquito Squad um, had, I did get a text. uh, I did. And then, and then I got an email asking me to rate and review my tech who was here, but I wasn't here. So I didn't fill it out. Um, And then asking, you know, just, are you, were you satisfied with your service? There was a door hanger on my front door that had indicated they had been in my yard. So, and I had, I already paid that bill because I pay it in the beginning of the season. Exactly. Check the boxes. And that's exactly it. That's what I love about this opportunity is as being the first franchisee to Mosquito Squad and going through that growth and and learning a, a method through that entire thing. What worked, what didn't work, how can we build upon that? So anything and everything they have by way of that and more on steroids is what we continue to build here at Conserva. It's awesome. And you have incredible, incredible margins in this business and some people that are reaching multi-million dollar levels, correct? Yes, absolutely. It's fun. And every single year, right, we add to the million dollar club. So the special, right, when you get to top line sales, we had an organization first full year last year, right, cross that line. Now we're seeing many, many more coming to that. So it's it's exciting to see them grow so fast. And then now many past the two and a half, past the getting past the five million in top, top line sales and margins, like you said, to boot, which is which is what it's all about. 
the the unit economics have to make sense at the franchisee level. That's our goal. That's our purpose. And people ask me that many times in in a conversation and in interviews. What you know? Oh, you founded Conserva for conservation. Exactly how you discovered that to save water. And that really is the second value proposition of why I founded it. The first one, I wanted to create more financially independent business owners that had ever been created in the green industry before, ever. Okay, and to legitimize that type of work. It's all the stuff I grew up doing. I love it. Outdoors, working and interacting with people, working and interacting with nature. It's a blue collar in nature, yet it's white collar as well. And it's just it's just an, a great eclectic group. And if you had a, a goosebump uh, camera, you could see my arms right now because it's just every time I talk about it, it's so near and dear to me. And that's what uh, we won't stop until we create more the most a uh, number of financially independent business owners through the Conserva model. Guys, don't you love it? Another franchisor whose heart is in the right place. Kim Daly seems to find all the good ones, don't I? Because they're not all like you, Russ, that is for sure. But this is so inspiring. And everything that you just said, it's so like people, when they think when they come to the idea of owning a business, the first thing they think is like, what do I know? Or what do I think I would be good at owning or what am I going to enjoy? And I think that there can be some part of enjoyment in like, like Russ said, if you like being outdoors or you tinker in your own garden, like maybe you have a proclivity to an irrigation, you know, franchise, but the vast majority of people that I'm working with that I might think, wow, can service open? I'm showing it. It's not because they told me they were interested in grass, right? It's because they told me they were looking for a home-based business. We didn't say that, right? They're looking for an opportunity to scale so that they can replace their, their W-2 income. They're looking for an opportunity to be partnered with an incredibly strong franchisor that has history, even though this is a young franchise. Did you guys hear him say what year he started? Russ, what year did you start this company again? Right. So June of 2017, we started franchising. And here we are, 70 franchisees will finish up the year right at about 75 to 78. 100 and that puts us at 170, 185 licensed territories. And we're going to hit the clip. And we, I, I stated day one when I, when I wrote the first pro forma, 400 licensed territories by the end of 2025. We are exactly on track to do that. That's awesome. But you started this company way before yeah. you turned it into a franchise. Yeah. Oh, for sure. 2010? Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. December of 2010. That's that's the Chris Grand Prix, Scott Side, Corey Schrader of Outdoor Living Brands model. Every single year, Russ, I'm ready. We're good. No, you're not, Grasshopper. <laughs> right? We got to go through this. You got to prove out this part. Okay. This year, I'm ready. No, you're not. Grinding it out. Grinding it out. And then after proof of concept in our single location, that's not the Outdoor Living Brands way. We got to prove it out in multiple. I proved it out in nine separate locations in three different or four different regions across the U.S. to make for sure that it worked at all the unit economics were strong, profitable, and in the best interest of the franchisee in all scenarios before the box got checked. Yeah, because nobody wants to be the guinea pig. And for those people out there that have a business that you're considering franchising, listen to what Russ is saying. You can't, I mean, you can, you can do anything you want to do, but I'm just telling you as an experienced franchise consultant who has placed probably more people into franchising than any other consultant in 20 years, I'm telling you, nobody wants to be the guy that comes in after you have proof of concept from one territory, right? So Outdoor Living Brands did you a huge favor by saying, no, you're not ready, right? Go, go show proof of concept in multiple markets, right? Because that's what people are going to want when they're investing their life savings in your dream as a franchisor. They want proof that it works, exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly and I love, it. again, that it works in a seasonal market. And so in a market that has even more months of green grass, you're going to have that many more months to make that much more money. You got it. And when you talk yeah, to Kim, that many more you got it. And Kim, when you talk to the different franchisees, I'm so proud of them, right? You can pick up the phone, as we all know, look at item 20, pick up the phone, talk to any one of the franchisees, and you can see the cure, the great results, the great enthusiasm. They love this company. And I would, I would venture to guess, if not all, well, not all, but the majority of them would say this. When I looked at conservative irrigation, right, it was a flyer. My, my, my broker was kind enough. My coach, my consultant was kind enough to say, take a flyer. I know this is number four, you got these three. I know this is number six, you got these five. And every, the stories resound through the halls at Conserva. Man, I was, you guys were last on the list and I didn't even want to listen to you after one call. 
bing, and then you gain distance after that from number one, even beyond that to, to show us how exciting and how awesome this concept is. So that's what we always say. We're thankful for the opportunity. Give us a flyer, give us an opportunity to, to roll out the red carpet, show them the blue shirts and exactly what we do for saving water. 40 to 60% by the way, guys, you got it. This is one place where the grass might be actually, it might actually be greener. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Russ, thank you so much for being my special guest today and sharing with the viewers of Kim Daily TV a little bit about Conserva Irrigation. Awesome. Kim, you're the best. Thank you again. I appreciate the opportunity. We'll chat soon. You are the best. So for anybody out there who's interested in learning more about this opportunity, I'm going to encourage you to follow the email on the screen. That will lead you directly to Kim Daly so that I have the opportunity to meet you and pre-qualify you and make sure that the territory that you that you live in is open and viable for Conserva and that you, ha you have all of your expectations in line and you know exactly what's going to happen. And then I'll get you back over to Conserva Irrigation Team so that you can learn more about this specific opportunity. Thank you so much for listening to this interview today. Russ, thank you for being my special guest. And for those out there, please don't forget that my name is Kim Daly and I want to be your daily coach. If you found this inspiring, please contact me at inquire at kimdaily.tv. My consulting services are totally free to you. Again, that email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. I can't wait to hear from you.